It is official, the RTX 4070 MSRP is $599. This information comes from what appears to be a leaked slide from an official NVIDIA review guide. It is not surprising that such a document has leaked. The RTX 4070 will launch in less than two weeks on April 13th. As a result, product samples and review guides are being sent out to the press, which increases the chances of an information leak. And as you can see, it just happened. While $600 is nowhere near as bad as the earlier rumored $750 price tag, the RTX 4070 still does not provide good value at this price point, in my opinion. Just a reminder, the RTX 3070 Ti launched with the same $599 MSRP. On the bright side, the RTX 4070 gets 12GB of memory, which is a big deal compared to the measly 8GB on the RTX 3070 and 3070 Ti. The slide also confirms some other interesting specifications. The RTX 4070 consumes just 186 watts of power on average during gaming, compared to 215 watts using the RTX 3070. The 4070 has 36 megabytes of L2 cache, which is huge compared to just 4 megabytes on the 3070. On the left side of the slide, we can see a performance comparison graph that doesn't really mean anything in the real world. Nvidia is known to exaggerate its performance claims significantly, so I won't be discussing this graph. Instead, here is my RTX 4070 gaming performance estimation based on its specifications. It will provide you with a much better understanding of what to expect from this graphics card. Let's start with the performance at 4K resolution. On average, RTX 4070 should deliver between RTX 3080 and 3080 Ti level of performance. That is about 76 FPS in a 16 game average. Next, I would like to show you how that would look like in some of the games you are likely familiar with. Expect close to 45 FPS average in Cyberpunk on high graphics preset at 4K. This result represents what I expect the upcoming AAA games will perform like on a 4070 in the next couple of years. So, I think that RTX 4070 is not quite cut out to be a 4K gaming GPU if this is the type of games you plan on using it for, and do not wish to use DLSS to boost that FPS. By the way, it is a viable option as DLSS is pretty much in every game now. Next up is Shadow of the Tomb Raider on the highest quality preset, representing older AAA games which still look very nice. Expect to see close to 80 FPS in this title. If you enjoy the latest competitive shooters, then you will be pleased to hear that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 should be able to run at about 112 FPS average at 4K using basic quality settings. Not quite enough for 120 plus FPS experience, but not too bad either. If you are enjoying this video, then a like and sub to the channel would be lovely. Now let's have a look at what RTX 4070 is expected to be able to do at 1440p resolution. It is much more impressive than at 4K, as I estimate that RTX 4070 will deliver performance level close to RTX 3090 or better at 1440p. RTX 4070 Ti has proven that Nvidia fixed its performance scaling at this resolution in the new ADA generation of graphics cards. That is why I expect to see about 96 FPS average in Cyberpunk on high graphics preset. This means that RTX 4070 should be able to run the upcoming AAA games at 60 plus FPS at 1440p resolution in most cases. If I was planning on gaming at this resolution, then I would wishlist RTX 4070 to do that job. Additionally, it should be great at running older games such as Shadow of the Tomb Raider at close to 150 FPS average. That is high refresh rate monitor territory right there. And I expect to see close to 185 FPS average in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on basic quality at 1440p. Very nice. What do you think about the RTX 4070? Will you be buying one? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then like and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.